Oyster reefs are critical to a healthy marine system. Yet globally, 85% of reefs have been lost. With partners and volunteers, the Nature Conservancy is experimenting with a variety of restoration techniques in the southeastern United States and around the world to see which works best under different conditions. On Sapelo Island, Georgia, the Conservancy and a host of government and academic partners are testing two methods of reef restoration along an eroding tidal creek bank. In one experiment, gabion baskets are filled with either rock, loose oyster shells, or bag shells and then embedded along the bank. In another, bags of oyster shells are layered and secured with untreated pine stakes. Both sites will be planted with native vegetation to help further stabilize the bank. With 8,000 bushels of shell needed for the project, staff and community volunteers have logged countless hours collecting and bagging recycled oyster shells. Since 2005, we have worked with the University of Central Florida in Mosquito Lagoon on the Atlantic coast. Boat wakes are dislodging oyster from their reefs tumbling them into barren islands of oyster shells. Through extensive community support, more than 12,000 environmentally safe mesh mats have been tied with oyster shells, a technique designed to withstand wave activity. These are weighted to the bottom of the lagoon at specially prepared sites and connected to form a huge welcome mat. Free-floating oyster larvae settle on the mats and within one year, produce the backbone of a healthy new reef. So far, 31 reefs have been restored and are now settled with juvenile oysters. Coastal Alabama has been hit hard by hurricanes, habitat degradation, and a struggling economy. A federal stimulus grant is enabling the Conservancy and its partners to restore degraded marine habitat with the creation of three acres of oyster reefs. In Mobile Bay, scientists are experimenting with three unique techniques, each proven effective in other places. More than 150,000 mesh bags of oyster shells will be placed in the bay. The invention of a machine has helped increase efficiency, enabling contractors to bag shells in record time. More than 3,100 reef balls, each weighing 225 pounds, are being built by contractors and will later be lowered into Mobile Bay. Reef blocks, vertical baskets made of welded steel and filled with mesh bags of oysters, have proven an effective technique along the Conservancy's Mad Island Marsh Preserve in Texas. Today, both Alabama and Louisiana are preparing to install reef blocks along their shores. These experiments with oyster reef restoration are helping to shape and inform the future of marine conservation. Shorelines with healthy oyster reefs provide important benefits to both humans and nature the Nature Conservancy, working for lasting conservation results.